Whoa. What's up everybody, back again with yet another unbox video and this one is an Amazon purchase for just over 50 bucks. It is the TX Juice AI drone. Now this one is a little bit interesting because of the one press auto takeoff, auto hover and auto land. So judging from the box, this would be a good starter quad for those of you out there looking to get into this hobby in theory. So this is like a little nano quad with the giant controller that I've never seen before. So it piqued my interest, wanted to check it out. The AI drone, artificial intelligence. That's the auto hover, auto land, auto takeoff, although not necessarily in that order. Dependent on which TX Juice product you have chosen, the juice button could activate autopilot, power ups, turbo power, or auto land, auto launch, and auto land. Simply press to activate. Interesting. I'm kind of excited to test the auto features of this one. So here we have the quad. Feels nice, very light, good size. Instruction manual. Looks like a fairly standard manual. This must be the controller. They like the tape on this one. It's just a piece of cardboard. You're stuck on something. Still on this control. Yeah, I, I mean, and what, what is that there for? Why is that there? I don't know. Let's get rid of that. So here we have our controller. Not the best build quality. So we have an auto stunt button, speed button that's gonna cycle through your rates. I'm gonna guess. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's probably the juice button right there. There's your juice button. So let's get the quad out. Oh, we got a bag of goodies down here. Let's check this out first. So we have your charging cable. You got some little landing feet here and you have actual extra prop guards. There's something that I have never seen before. Extra prop guards. And you also have a full set of props. So let's get the quad out. So the bottom of this quad already has these foam landing feet on there. So the ones in the bag are extra. So here's our quad. This is probably the front and these are the sides. TX Juice logo, I'm assuming. And is that an on off switch? It looks like you, oh yeah, look at that. So the sequence here is they want you to turn this guy on. Make sure that's down and then turn this guy on. It looks like it auto binds. Should we hit the juice button and do an auto takeoff? Nothing. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so did the auto takeoff. It did a little weird, not all the props were spinning. Oh, that's interesting. You can't see it right now, but it does seem to be, see that? And I can't kill the motor. That can't be good. Now, is there a way to recalibrate here? Seems like it takes a minute to actually bind even when you stop. Whoa. That just flew right up and <laughs> doesn't seem super responsive from these controls. Let's hit the auto takeoff buttons again, see what happens. So it says to press and hold down the juice button and press throttle joystick down for emergency stop. I guess that would have been nice to know. So initially it was flying real nice, but now, uh... Where'd you go? Let's try it one more time. It's worrying me a little bit that these guys aren't spinning. I think we need a recalibration. Look at 
but it does fly pretty stable. It seems to move pretty well. Let's cycle through some of these rates here. See if that does anything for us. I think it might have sped us up a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. Hit the camera. Let's see. I'm not hearing any sort of audible input when I push a button, and that kind of worries. That, I mean, it could be perfectly normal, but I'm not crazy about it. Let's see what happens when we flip. Maybe we don't know enough battery to flip. I think we're running low on uh, battery and that's why we're acting a little weird. I'm not loving how those two props aren't spinning right. Usually that's a recalibration issue, but I haven't been able to figure out how to recalibrate this one just yet. So initially not super impressed right off the bat. Controller feels a little awkward. The build quality of both of these feel a little less than ideal. But that being said, obviously I've crashed it a bunch of times. It doesn't seem any, any worse for the wear. It does seem a little odd having your thumbs way up here. It's got these two buttons up here, which I guess seem easy enough to push from an ergonomic standpoint. But then when you go over to your trim buttons and all these other things, you're basically gonna have to take your thumbs off the controls. Definitely an interesting design. Is it practical? We'll find out. So that's all I've got for now with the AI drone from TX Juice. Picked this one up on Amazon for just over 50 bucks. Initially, I think that price tag is a little steep for what we've got here, but we'll take it outside, give it its fair shot. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and comment below with any questions. I thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.